Hi, I'm Lisa from Love to Color My World, and today I'm going to show you a shortcut for making flying geese units, like I'm using for the star points in my star crossing quilt along quilt. Now, the way it, most people make them is to draw the line on your square and then use that line as a stitching guide. I like to skip that step because drawing lines take a lot of time, so let me show you what I do instead. So what I do is put my needle in the down position and set the foot down with a ruler in place so that I know I've got a straight line and I double check to make sure that a line on my ruler aligns with this so I know this is straight. And then I take a piece of masking tape and I put it on my sewing table aligned with the edge of the ruler. And if you can back up a little bit, but you want to start with a fresh bobbin so you don't have to keep pulling this end of the tape up to do your bobbin. And then bring your needle up, move out of the way your ruler. And when you put your fabric under, you're going to line up the tip like you would be when you're sewing. And then make sure that your other tip aligns with the tape right there. And as you sew, just keep watching that that tip stays on that tape edge. And you can sew a straight line across the diagonal without having to mark your square at all.